Hi, I'm Rod Roddenberry, and you're watching Trek Yards. My name is Eugene Wesley Roddenberry, Jr. I am the son of Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek. When I was a little kid, and I can't tell you how old, maybe five, six, I don't know, something like that. My father's home office, in the bathroom of my father's home office, he had a, is it eight millimeter reel projector? And he, there would be a, a, literally a white piece of cardboard about this big, and he would put the projector on the countertop, the sink countertop, and that board against the wall, and he would play the bloopers for me. And I would lay on the floor and just giggle and laugh. Because it's when they run in and fall down, and. I didn't even know what Star Trek was really, and I didn't care about it, but as a young kid it was, it was kind of fun to see the door close on someone, or whatever the case. I didn't have that maturity, I didn't have that mindset, I didn't think about those things. Mm -hmm. um, but then, then I, I didn't really appreciate Star Trek too much, in fact my father took my entire school, I was, I was probably in first grade, took my entire school to the premiere of the motion picture. Wow. And uh, I remember thinking it was the most boring movie I'd seen in a long time. How I mean, old were you then? Uh, uh, seven, eight. That's not the right age. <laughs> well, <laughs> some, some some kids mature pretty quickly and can can get the, the nuance and the beauty of that movie, which of course now I've yeah. appre I appreciate it now. Yeah. But uh, just as a as a young kid, it, it was too intellectual for me. Mm. You know, I needed I needed Star Wars. Yeah. Not saying Star Wars isn't intellectual. There's a difference. We know. There's a difference. The, the one Star Trek episode that I saw where I, I kind of had that moment where I'm like, oh, now I get it, um, was uh, uh, Devil in the Dark. Okay. Um, that's the one with the Horda, mm -hmm. right? So, so I, I loved, it was the twist in the end. Spoiler alert, everyone. First of all, they're, they're this, this rock monster, I'm gonna tell you the story like you don't know, but I'm just, I'm making my point here. This rock monster is on a planet and it's killing all the miners down there. Yeah. And Black and white, easy. Yeah, yep. easy, and then you know they try to kill it, so the Enterprise comes in and I think at first tries to kill it, because yeah. they think it's bad and evil, but then at one point they decide, hey, let's try to communicate with this thing, or it's got intelligence, and so Spock does the communication and finds out that the miners are killing its young. It's a mother protecting its eggs. I, every time I tell that story, I get chills, because in the end, who's the devil in the dark? wasn't necessarily the Horda, it was us. We were the ones that were killing its children. I, you know, I was definitely young, but, but that was when I kind of went, holy shit, you know, now I get it. You know, I, I, we do short films. We, I did a documentary called Trek Nation. Um, that, was, that was probably my biggest, my biggest project because it was the most personal project. Mm. Uh, I, I spent a number of years finding uh, people who work in the industry, uh, uh, people that knew my father, talked to fans, I talked to luminaries in the industry, and I kind of said, what is it about Star Trek that's, that's so special? What is it that resonates with you? And um, I had amazing conversations. And it was so neat to find the commonality that these people from different aspects, you know, whether I, I, I talked to, Dennis Rodman never made it in, but I actually interviewed him probably 10 plus years ago. Yeah. And then uh, I introduced scientists and astronomers. And yeah. it's amazing the commonality where people would all say, but we want to live in that future. So that's, and that's, that's truly what I believe in. You know, I'm, I've, it's, it's too dramatic to say I've wrestled with demons. No, that's fair to say. I, I've, I've kind of yeah. wrestled with the demons of my father's legacy versus who am I versus yeah. what the Roddenberry name means. And, and um, I, I genuinely love the Star Trek philosophy. And what I, I think the backbone of Star Trek is the idic philosophy, I-D-I-C, infinite diversity and infinite combinations. Yeah. And that's the, not just the, the appreciation of all things different, that's, that's the idea that we need things that are different. That's how we grow and evolve as a species, is to find new ideas. In Star Trek, they weren't out there looking for weird looking aliens, they were out there looking for a, a, an intelligent species yeah. that looked at the universe in a different way 
because we knew that if we could learn how they see the universe, we could grow and evolve. We could take that, incorporate it into our own ideas, mm -hmm. and evolve as a species. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, Star Trek's just television and movies, but I think that future is a reality. I think that's something to move towards. One hundred percent. A hundred percent. I consider it my philosophy yeah. as well, um, and it's it's uh, it, it, it's it's what I want to do. Uh, it may not be make the next Star Trek, even though I am involved in the next Star Treks, but it is whatever I do. I try to incorporate that philosophy. I'm an avid, I'm an avid scuba diver. Oh, I love I love the ocean, and uh, scuba diving and, and space exploration kind of go hand in hand. They, they, they really do. Different sides of the same coin. Yeah, but yeah. when you put on that equipment and you're underwater yeah. and you need that equipment to survive and you're seeing weird looking aliens, fish and sharks and whales and um, it, it, I mean, I can't think of anything that would be more like being on another planet. Yeah. You know, be honest. So, I, I will be 100% honest. Okay. I'm fine with it. Okay. I, 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 I love Star Wars, but I'm not like I, like some other people that are crazy love Star Wars. You know, yeah. if it's a good, I like Solo. Yeah. I was fine with Solo. That's fun. Um, I, I, I understand what people are talking about when they have some negative or disparaging comments about it, but it was a ride, and I went for the ride, and I enjoyed the ride. Sure, I don't necessarily like the way they killed Skywalker or Luke, excuse me, but uh, whatever. I'm not that invested in it. I loved all three of the Star Treks, uh, the movies, the last movies. Um, but 2009, the first 10 minutes of the 2009 movie, mm -hmm. some of the most powerful Star Trek movies I've ever seen, or segments of a movie I've ever seen. I, I enjoyed Beyond because of, they really hammered home the camaraderie and what Starfleet is and what, how a crew should work together and mm -hmm. all that.